I've been afraid to look at your temperature board. Uh, what do we uh, What do we hit today? 98 today. Oh, that's just still in double figures. Yeah, okay. we haven't hit the triple digits yet, okay. uh, but we've gotten close. So, right. and you can feel it the minute you step mm -hmm. outside. That's for sure. Here's a live look at our Hill Country camera today. Like we've seen so far this spring, we've seen a lot of these. Even this summer, mostly sunny skies. Just a few of those mid-level clouds scattered around. It actually makes for a very pretty picture on the Hill Country camera. It's a camera, though. If you step outside, it's a little bit different story. It feels like temperatures are over 100 degrees in most areas in Central Texas. This is the heat index. It's a combination of how much moisture is in the air and then also the actual temperature outside. So it feels like 100 in Llano, 103 in Georgetown, 105 out at the airport, and 103 degrees in Bastrop right now. Here are the actual temperatures, though. We're still in the mid low to mid 90s out there. It's 92 in Burnett, 93 in Lakeway, 94 right now in Gidding, and 90 four degrees and Lockhart as well. As we go through the rest of your evening, here's what it's going to look like. 96 degrees right now. By 10 p.m., we're in for a very warm evening. Temperatures only dropping into the mid 80s and early tomorrow morning. The clouds return and temperatures are still going to be on the warm side. 75 to start out your Sunday. Right now in Camp Mabry, though, it's 96 degrees with mostly sunny conditions. Partly cloudy out at the airport. 96 there as well. Dew points are still in the low 70s, so you can feel that moisture when you step outside and it's all because of those south Southeasterly winds we've had. They've been a bit breezy out of the airport. 14 mile an hour winds right now, but it's only six out of ABIA. We'll see them between 5 and 15 for the rest of the evening and through the day tomorrow as well. Satellite radar shows it's been a very quiet day across the state. Ridge of high pressure in place in the upper levels of the atmosphere have really kept any sort of activity to a minimum just out to our west and then some along our coastal showers as well. A few more of those could pop up through the evening hours, but not really affecting any of us here in Central Texas. We are, though, tracking some changes as we head into your work week. Tomorrow is going to be a day very similar to what we've seen today with cloudy skies in the morning, mostly sunny by the afternoon, very hot and humid. But we're tracking a frontal boundary just to our north that's going to work its way in by Monday to northern Texas, causing some showers and storms through the afternoon hours there. But it's not really going to impact us here in central Texas until Tuesday when it kind of washes out, leaves just a very weak boundary across the state. That could be just enough of an emphasis to allow a few storms to develop both starting on Tuesday and really going through the end of the work week. We're keeping the rain chances small. But there is that possibility there and we could use the rain. We are though tracking a little bit bigger system. This is Tropical Storm Alex right under the Yucatan Peninsula right now. It's expected to continue its kind of west northwesterly path cutting across the Yucatan Peninsula tonight and then heading back into the Gulf where it could re-strengthen and lose some of its steam over uh, the land there but as it moves back over open water gaining a little bit of strength and making landfall by about Wednesday and most of the models forecasting anywhere from north Mexico to central Mexico. And we're looking at a landfall again Wednesday, probably as a, a tropical storm or maybe a Category 1 hurricane, depending how much speed it picks up as it moves over those open Gulf waters. Right now, though, we're just looking at winds right around 65 miles an hour. Uh, its impact on Texas, it will impact how far that cold front moves into central Texas by both Tuesday and Wednesday. Lows tonight, dry, mostly cloudy by early tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the mid-70s for tomorrow. It's going to be another very hot day day. Temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. 75 in Austin tonight. Tomorrow, it's 97 for your afternoon high. And here's your seven-day forecast. Again, very warm all the way through Monday. Look, very close to that 100 degree mark on Monday. 98 degrees. A little bit cooler starting Tuesday, only because we see a few more clouds and hopefully a few showers.